Hello and welcome to The Worst Days. I'm your host, Joshua Wise. This is The Worst Days. Here with me on The Worst Days are people to play The Worst Days. Uh, I've got four crazy kids, the wildest of the wild, four people who want sweepstakes to be here. Uh, <laughs> they don't know why they're here, but they're going to play a role play game. Uh, Yay. They thought they were going to win a car. But it's, it's a role-play game. It's the Worst Days. It's horror. It's an RPG. It's twitch.tv slash Worst Days RPG. It's our, it's our new thing. If you're watching it, you're probably like, wait, what? Uh, but we've changed some things. We've renamed some things. Uh, but here we are. So uh, if you have any questions about where you should go or what you should do or where any of our stuff is, just... Look right on up in that that right upper right hand corner up there. Worst hyphen days dot com. Uh, because worst days dot com was taken and the worst days dot com they wanted a lot of fucking money for. So uh, worst hyphen days dot com. Everything is there. You can find it there. I am here with four people though. Uh, who are here to play a horror RPG? Uh, Matt Byrne is here. How's it going, Matt Byrne? It's going great. I'm excited to be here. Play my horror RPG. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's 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 ours. We uh, non legally own it together. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Our RPG night. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's time to to get horror. I will say, I'm gonna tell you right off. I'm gonna spoil right out of the gate. Tonight, tonight's gonna be a spooky. Uh, tonight is we're getting into it. We're we're maybe getting into it before we pull back out again. It's the rhythm method of horror. Um, <laughs> uh, the dance dance revolution. Yeah. yeah, it's um. So we're we're gonna do a little, do a little spooky tonight. Um, speaking of spooky, Blissy Vito is here. How's it going, Blissy? Uh, I, spooky, I guess. I'm doing I'm doing my best. You know, <laughs> I keep we all do. I keep fucking up because. Every week, every week at the end, I go, God damn it. I should have said, howdy, Bliss. Yeah. And I can't, I can't get on okay, brand. Okay, everybody, we're writing notes for next week. <laughs> I literally can't get on brand. Everybody's changing their social media names. <laughs> <Everybody>. <laughs> How are um, you, Josh? I'm doing okay. I'm I'm here adapting, write, writing things down. I tried something <laughs> new for tonight, which is I picked out our image for the episode before I decided what we were doing in the episode, and I let the image like inspire me. Nice. Uh, so nice. yeah, so uh, so you guys will see tomorrow when I post the VOD what the image uh, actually actually is and oh, was. Um, so uh, the um, uh, oh that lets uh, I just typed a thing in chat and went oh yeah look at that the chat box isn't quite isn't quite lined up with the overlay. Uh, there we go. Uh, just a little test. Um, speaking of tests, Ashton Laurel is here to test yes. our limits. Uh, how's that it going, so Ashton? True. You got it. You know what? Um, I'm... Uh... Oh, shit. I forgot to set up my soundboard. Well, no, I'm not good. I'm not good. Okay. <laughs> All right. I just love it. <laughs> I, I love that we're going to, by the end of this thing, when we all decide it's time to call it quits, everybody will have a soundboard <laughs> on this show. I already do, so that's okay. It's, it will just be uh, like a zoo crew morning show that has about 10 minutes worth of role playing in it. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, speaking of soundboards, the OG soundboard master himself, Z Zip Master Z Z Zanzibar, <laughs> Chris Zumski is here. <laughs> How's it going, Did sir? Did someone call about the crew? <laughs> yes, we're here <laughs> to just... I've got shit up, oh, dude. <laughs> let's do this. I'm here for the funny... Oh wait, this is R. Sorry. Um, yeah, I was I really a one. The, the wait, pause there. On. The pause between a... like the setup and the payoff was good. Yeah, yeah. It was real good. Oh, yeah. I got. Mm. Oh no, that's just creepy background. I'm, I'm gonna set mine up, yes. and then 
during a really emotional part, I uh -huh. will play just one sound and we'll never okay. know when it's going to come. Yeah, that's just good. Know. That's good. Um, just, just know that it's going to be something inappropriate. Like, um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are yeah. you more of a... I'm, it depends what kind of day it is. Right. <laughs> yeah, soundboards differently. <laughs> Oh, uh, it depends on what kind of soundboard you need. I got stuff that'll alter my voice. Sure. Yeah, oh. fancy. Yeah, I even got it when we get into action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there that's that is the sound of action right there. That's your you're running down a hallway, and that's the. <laughs> and yes. when you're when you're having a laser gun fight with the ghosts, yeah. that's. Uh, oh wait, uh, yeah. Not not even a hundred percent sure what that was. <laughs> that was a boss laugh. I see. Uh, I see. Gotcha. This is my, this is my uh, eight bit stuff. I see. Yeah. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Um, well, uh, <laughs> to uh, to, re to refresh everybody from last week, uh, uh, the the hotel opened uh, in earnest after some refurbishings, and uh, you guys were did Ernest survive. Uh, yes, Ernest did survive. That's it's another great Ernest joke. Um, <laughs> I I love oh. how much that got Ashton. Like, yeah, because I was thinking about it, and I was like, "That's the stupidest thing ever," and I'm not going to say it. And then I took a drink of water, and Chris said it. <laughs> yeah, and I waited. All your dreams, specifically Ashton. for her to drink the water to do that. Sure, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to drink my water now. Yep, just get yourself a straw and just surreptitiously sip it. Oh, you don't think? No, you can still spit take with a straw. I know, but if you if you just sort of hide it behind your hand, you'll you'll never see anybody actually drinking. Um, oh, I will uh, if I see Ashton do this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. You do know. Uh, you do so, know. <laughs> so last week, uh, a couple of new guests came in. Bruce Rochester with his girlfriend Alicia Feature. Um, as well as uh, Antonio Macab and his uh, his wife Tiffany Macab, uh, both came in uh, and got rooms. They're considered VIPs, and uh, you guys also met Tim, uh, the assistant to Bruce Rochester, uh, a very enthusiastic yeah. lad who um, wants very much to get. Get to know you all a little better. I wouldn't put it that way, but yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, and then M had a bit of a nervous breakdown at yeah. the front desk. Uh, Mr. Skaborn had to come out. Uh, M was screaming, um, just sort of screaming over and over and over again. Dylan, you were just standing at the door. And M just started screaming, and you couldn't figure out why. And uh, there were a couple of guests who couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. Um, but Mr. Skaborn was actually like able to usher M back to the office. Uh, Dylan, you were kind of put on the desk there for a while, and M, um, you were able to you were sort of able to. Uh, get you to kind of lay down on the couch and fall asleep. Um, and, uh, you know, sort of the rest of the day, rest of the day went okay beyond this momentary screaming fit uh, that you don't actually remember why it happened. Uh, mm -hmm. When you wake up, you're a little confused about why you're in the office. Uh, there's a blanket over you. Um, Mr. Skaborn is sitting at the desk, and as you rouse yourself, he says, Ah, M, I, how are you feeling? Um, I, I feel fine. Um, sorry, what, what am I doing here? Ew. Wasn't I, are the guests okay? Um. Oh yes, quite, quite, quite all right. Don't worry about that. You had a bit of a... A reaction, I think, um, perhaps to some of the stress uh, hmm. of the first day, which I don't blame you for. It's been quite a stressful day. Um, but it is over. You've been asleep for, oh, dear me, about three hours. Oh, my um, goodness. And, uh, and hmm. uh, well, it, it's... 
<sighs> it's almost almost dinner time. Why don't um why don't you take a moment? I'll leave you to your privacy, uh, and I will go out uh, and uh, we'll get the night shift on the desk, uh, and uh, and then you can you can have your dinner and and just sort of relax for the rest of the day. How does that sound? Um. Yeah. Uh. I'm so sorry. I don't. I don't remember anything. Um. I'm sorry if I caused a scene, but uh. Yeah. That. That's okay. I apologize. Did I? Uh. Did. I. You know what? I. Uh, yeah. I'll take the rest of the night off if that's okay. That's perfectly um, all right. In fact, I insist on it. And don't worry about anything. Uh. It all lends to the um. The ambiance. You know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Most, the most people are coming here for a certain je ne sais quoi. Uh and um and I think maybe you've added to it. That's that's for certain. So maybe it, yeah, there's a little bonus in this for you as well. Well, thank you, sir. That's uh that's very reassuring. Um is uh is the desk okay? Is Dylan over there right now? Oh Dylan, uh, I believe Dylan is going to be getting off uh, very soon here. Well, uh, you know what? I'm going to go relieve him. So, uh, you know, again, take your time, and I'll be I'll be right back. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, and Skaborn leaves, walks just the short walk down the hall, and walks into the back of the um the front desk where uh, Dylan and Jonesy are standing. Um. And Skaborn comes out, and uh, he says, uh, "Heidi ho, fellas." Hey, Mr. Skaborn, what's hey. up? Yeah. Oh, um, uh, you'll be very happy to know that M is conscious and uh, seems all right. Oh, excellent, excellent. Um, did she mention what happened? Because I didn't. No, I, I, I think she may have had just a bit of a bit of too much. Excitement for the first day. You know, you know how they can be. <laughs> Put a little bit of stress on them, and they just start screaming their heads off. So, um, and I, no. by that, by them, I mean the English. <laughs> oh, <laughs> then yes. Yes, well, quite uh, quite excitable people. Uh, yes. If HR should ask, that's who I meant. Um, <laughs> yeah, you got it. Um, but yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, the uh, English. Yes, uh, well, you two will be getting off quite soon here. Jonesy, tell me, what was your first day uh, with, a, with a full hotel again, like? Uh, I was a little uncomfortable with um, the, the pamphlet that you gave me, um, but I think everything was fine. What, it the was, pamphlet was okay. super special people? Well, I just, I, yeah, it, it seemed, um, I don't know, they seemed a little, you know, a little handsy, honestly, up there. <laughs> oh, they're Southerners. From what I understand, they touch everybody. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I just, you know, I like it in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> is that, a, uh, is that a euphemism, Jonesy? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 not like that. Dylan I, has a cup of coffee and just spits it everywhere. I, like, no. What? Dylan, are you I, I, all right? Is this business front desk haunted? He says uh, loudly as if... To... <laughs> <clears throat> I had... He had said a thing, and I thought a different thing than what he implied. There I see. And yes. I found it humorous. <laughs> I see. Very good. And surprising. Um, Max! Max, are you about? Hey! Hey, could you? He's just, he's just gonna pop up. Yes. From the, yep. The desk. <laughs> it's really the front of the desk because he's everybody here is behind the desk. It's just he comes up from the front of the desk, uh, and uh, and Skibon says, "Ah, Max, could you get us a um uh, a cloth to wipe down this this coffee and spittle?" You can use my shirt. No, 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 no. Uh, just if you go to the janitor's closet and get yourself a rag. It's faster to just use my no, shirt. No, speed is not he of the essence. taking here. off his shirt. No, thank you, Max. <laughs> if you could keep the old shuttle on, if we could just, just. Okay. Where is the? Where the is the? Rack? Right by the office. You'll see it. It says janitor on the door. Okay. It's or or it might be uh, it might be Swedish and it says janitor. <laughs> oh, that narrows it down. <laughs> Yeah, one of the two, you know, if you find either, go ahead and just pop okay. on in and get a wreck. Okay. 
All right. Oh, I'm, this this is going to be my whole day. Well, well t- time is not of the essence, but it isn't not of the essence. You see? Okay, that's cool. Okay. He's going to start just slowly, like, walking and <laughs> looking back every once in a while. If you don't hurry, you're going to miss dinner. <laughs> what? Well, what are we having? Food. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh, he, ate, he ate rocks too many times, but I had to <laughs> stop. Mm-hmm. Well, um, I, well, look, could you, could you lads do me a favor tonight? Um, I, it would be very good if you could all just sort of keep an eye on M. Like, make sure she's taken care of, take her back to her room, check in on her every couple of hours. Don't go knocking her, don't go knocking her up every hour or so, but, but, you know. Raising. Knocking, knocking grass. someone up? What are you talking yes. about? That implies something else. What are you talking about? My mother used to knock me up relentlessly when I was a boy. Mm, I'm so glad I wasn't drinking then, because we would need another rag. Uh, What you're saying is an American euphemism for impregnating someone. What? You yanks are the monsters of the earth. It means to knock on someone's door. Yep. And something else. And what? Something else. You're monsters. You're all of you monsters. We should have. We should have fought harder for this place to keep the world safe. <laughs> uh, it's almost no. like it's your fault. Yeah, it's I like take responsibility. I do personally. <laughs> yeah. For all of your dashed yank isms. Okay. I don't even know if you're using real colloquial phrases from your country now. I don't even know anymore. You've confused me so much. <laughs> yes, I'm the confusing one. Well, anyway. Um, anyway, perhaps you could go up knock her. I don't know. I don't know what what to say other than how I say it. Um, but Check in on her? All right, that's fine, like, I, I suppose. you do hotel? What? No, you go knock up like, the guests. I'm expecting uh, all of you to knock up the guests at some point not- here. I mean, I, know. I can this try. Is the first time, this is the first time they've s- ever used that phrase. <laughs> Man, we haven't had this many guests before to knock up. Oh, oh you gotta stop you just keep saying, saying that. <laughs> <laughs> this is just game where that means something very different. <laughs> I, I, so I'm told, but <laughs> I suppose I shall slum it with my my American euphemisms, and you. <laughs> do, do you want to? We're, we're gonna just, we're just gonna, nah, I don't even wanna say it. I don't wanna Check say it. in on, I suppose. Is that how we should all say it? Check in on? So yeah, many words. That's good. Check, yeah, well, it's three. Check on. Just check on. Check on. Check off. No. Check, check, check off is a character. Check off is a playwright. It's also isn't a character. It, isn't it a gun? What? It's also a gun. It is not a, a gun. gun. It's not a if manufacturer you know the, named whoa. Chekhov and they have guns? Chekhov's got yep. guns, yeah. Yeah, the literal playwright made the Chekhov's gun. You that don't show the right. gun in the... That, that doesn't We're all right. talking about the same thing now, right? No, I believe... Like a gun. <laughs> no, Jonesy, it's not. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, if you want a I'm, Russian gun, you get yourself a Kalashnikov. Now that is a Russian gun. <laughs> That you just made that up. No, I didn't. <laughs> Not at all. Anyway, Why would I oh. want a Russian gun? They just fall apart. Oh, thank no, God. they Max don't. Back with the rags. <laughs> He's definitely not back with the rags. He's oh, lost. Like, no, <laughs> Dylan, Dylan doesn't see it. Dylan's like looking around the corner. Up, oh, he turned. He turned the wrong corner. I'll go <laughs> rescue him. And then just walks away from the conversation. The thing you hear, you just hear this game going like, you can bury a Kalashnikov in sand for 10 years and pick it back up again. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Max! <laughs> um, we're going to cut ahead here for a couple of hours to the <laughs> evening. Um, <laughs> uh, everybody's had dinner, um, and uh, you guys are walking M back to her room. Uh, and you're still a little unsteady on your feet, um, but uh, you're feeling better. You've had dinner. 
things are things are doing better. Skaborn is walking with you all, uh, but he's about to leave you, and he says, "All right, everybody, now make sure uh, to you know take care of each other, check in on each other." Um, where dash it? Where is William? He says before he just turns away and walks in the other direction. Uh, I feel like Em reacts to that name. She kind of just watches him walk off. Uh, and then, uh, is who's with me? Is all, you are all together. Okay. Um, I think as we're walking, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a hand on Dylan's um bicep and say, "Hey, um, do you yeah. do you, did you see what happened to me? Um, I don't really, I don't seem to remember what happened. Um, well." Everything was okay. I want to go close the door. Mm -hmm. And then you started screaming, freaking out, however we want to say it. And I turned around. It, it was like you were not looking at me. You were looking at, it was like you were looking at someone that was like almost approaching you. But there was no one there. Also, your like huh. line of sight was kind of high, which was... Hmm. Unusual, I guess. Yeah, that's just. Do you remember any? You don't remember anything. No, I don't remember. I just, I remember that you went to go close the door, and then I woke up in Skabon's office, and I, I can't seem to remember screaming. I'm sorry if I scared you. Uh, don't mm. you startled me at most, but mm, yeah, I have had uh, they mm. call that uh, that's it's one of my camp oak and oak kind of moments there um well we get it you went to camp uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah you dingus you were in the camp across the lake at fuck at silver spoons up my ass or whatever yeah, that, was, that was a good time yeah the difference is i had a way different experience than you yeah i had a great time there yeah i didn't have a great time of mine i made a marshmallow uh, oh wow <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, you haven't had any, M, you haven't had any other <clears throat> weird moments, right? Like, uh... I mean, there was some weird moments with Jonathan. That guy's um, weird. I don't like yeah, that Yeah, he's weird. I don't really, uh... He broke your wrist. Yeah. William? What? Jonathan, William, yeah, he broke Max's wrist. Well, to be fair, Max was about to punch him but yeah you know. but he grabbed my wrist out of the sky and just that what happened to your wrist yeah that's i've been telling everyone no one seems to believe me i believe you max it's okay thank it, you it, it's true i was is it true i thought he just like I, fell i mean I've never fallen in my life look i didn't uh, see it happen but they were the only two <laughs> there and the wrist <laughs> broke you know it's but also, yeah I, uh i mean that guy's like a billion years old no, yeah, Max, yeah, but did he's you try strong. to punch a sectogenarian? I, 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 I tried to punch a man. An old man. <laughs> he. What have we said about punching have, old people? He may have been perceived to be older on the older side. Was he like? Mm -hmm. But he was like. I mean. Are these muscles you got just show? Like he's old. no, they are, trust me, they're not show. Um, and if there's, I'm gonna try to lift anything up. We're in a hallway. Yeah. Is there anything I can just find to lift up? There, there's us. Yeah, there's pretty much just them, uh, and then that. there's there's like a laundry uh, cart full that. of laundry. I I oh, not. I would like to lift up a laundry cart with my good arm. <laughs> See, All right, give me a strength roll, please. Cool. Oh, I don't need my dice. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, you um, don't. Um, this is a feat of stray. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yes, lifting things up is a feat of stray. <laughs> um, 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 that's how you do it. No, it's yeah. not. Yeah, it's 100% how you do it. You are wrong, didn't I? <laughs> Wait. No, you did it right. Probably. Wait, really? Yeah, you did it right. Hey, Will in the chat. Uh, Will's popping in to say hi. He's he's working tonight. Um, uh, so maybe it, maybe it, uh, secret yeah, message to you. Or maybe capital D. Maybe it's case sensitive. I actually don't think it is case sensitive. Hmm. No. Oh damn. No. no. It ain't uh, working for me. Please. I'll throw the roll in and see if. Okay. Oh, you know what? I wonder if when I changed things, if Streamlabs didn't catch up to it. Mm. So, um, 
so why don't we do a quick roll um, dice in person? Yep, roll either roll your dice in person or um I'll do a real quick dice roller online. Um do a quick one. Oh wait. Um I need five D six. Five D six. Okay. Well I'll just I'll just Oop. uh six. Um shit, math. Yeah, right. Oh, hold on. <laughs> 11, 14, uh, uh, 19. 19. Roll any ones. Yeah, did you I roll did any not. Ones? Okay. Um, and I'm going to throw into our Discord really quick the link to a Roll Dice with Friends uh, thing. <laughs> oh, Fran. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, and it will always be whatever the last die is, is your um, uh, your wild die. So can people see in there that I rolled a four, five, and a one? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so you just kind of click on the die that you need as many times as you need it. Okay. And, uh, and the last die there will be... Um, um, Ooh, I'm Dallas Dice Roller. Wait, how did you change your name already, Matt? That's freaking like. Hey, yeah, what? Oh, oh it's oh, literally right at the top. Boy, I'm an idiot. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, damn, what sort of magic? Like, <laughs> I work in IT. This is yeah, holy shit. Yeah, my uh, yeah, my uh, 25 years, 20 years, years of programming here. never fucking but just. Let me show you these hacks happened. I use. Right, yeah, a box. I love. <laughs> <laughs> what I do is I read first. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, all right, fine. That's fair. Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, all right. So, g give me that. R what, what was what was your role, Ashton? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Who, you pen is Mike <laughs> on the dice roller. I wonder. I wonder who oh. Penis and Mike could be. Oh, no, no, it's pen is. Pen is Mike. Pen is Mike. Pen is Mike. Pen is Mike. You can't say that word on the interwebs. Penny's Mike. <laughs> Penny's Mike. Um, Penny's Mike. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, okay. It looks like the um, the likely ban evader restricted. Okay, cool. Um, so apparently the the chat the Did chat you bot innovated. No, uh, apparently the chat bot that we use uh, is now like caught some spam. I can oh. see it, but like nobody else can see it. Uh, so I was like, oh, I got to moderate this. And then it was it, like the box just says likely ban evader restricted. Um, so. Uh, ban evaded. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you you lift this thing like. You don't lift it off all four wheels, but you lift it pretty, like, it's impressive how much you pick this thing up off the ground with your, uh, you, it was your right wrist that got yeah. broken, right? So with your offhand, you, um, you do a pretty good job of, of lifting this thing off the ground. You do not lift the entire laundry cart, though, <laughs> off the ground with one hand, um, that's fine. That's fine. I'm saving it. I'm saving that for but later. You, but you have proved that your muscles are not just for show. <laughs> so. Got him. Yes, you proved whoever. So, uh, it, so he was a strong old man, right? Well, he wasn't old. He was a man that looks old, but he's just a regular strong man. But I'm stronger. I just wasn't prepared. So yeah. the str so the strange thing was that my little brother tried to punch an old man and he broke his wrist or No, was he was kind of being a dick. He was like he was like talking to himself in the corner. And it well, wasn't... he was I'm pretty sure he was threatening me. Well, I mean, he I threatened him first, but it was yeah. only as a, it was as a joke and then he threatened uh -huh. me back. And then I I don't know about that, Max. I don't think you should go around saying that you threatened him first. I think well, that uh... he wasn't. It was just like he. Well, he told me. I I just said it was just like he was obviously was... admiring my physique, my really perfect, <laughs> my beautiful body, and um, and then he said that he could like 
could beat me up. And I was like, uh, fuck, no, you can't. And then, um, and then he kind of like grabbed my throat and it was like, it made me feel some things, um, that I'm not ready to talk about yet. But, yeah. um, and yeah. then, and then, um, and then he said something weird and then, and then I tried to punch him and I didn't know that he was, um, he was quick with, uh, the reflexes. Um, cause I thought I was really quick, but, um, I'm more like brawn and not like speed, which is okay with me. I think that like, you know, people have like different strengths and weaknesses. So I think like, like me doing brawn is like pretty cool of me. Um, and you know, I feel like if we're going <laughs> to say anyone's quick, I'm going to say that probably M is the quickest out of all of us. So I think that like, it works pretty well like you know like the two of us and then maybe like you guys can do your own thing um but uh and then he broke my wrist you actually made the most sense in the longest sentences you've used in a while max yeah Thank you. good job I'm on the back <laughs> yeah good. i was coherent the entire time um uh, yeah no he was uh you know max and i were going to check on him the story is that Max and I was going to check on him because mm. he had wandered off into the rooms by himself. And mm. he was just sitting over there in the corner of the rec room, just mumbling to himself. And he said something strange to me. Uh, I don't quite recall what it was, but he said something strange and very out of place. Oh, he he said that I was the one or he called someone the one. She, he said, yes, she's the one. And I don't know what yeah. that meant, but he looked he, was, he looked right at me. He had a very, very terrifying face on, and I I just didn't know what was going on. And, you know, Max was nice enough to stay with me, and uh, and then, you know, he, he broke his wrist. But anyway, um, yeah, that was really strange. And I don't like Jonathan. And uh, there was also this weird figure at the end of the hallway. He didn't have a face, but he was very tall. Oh, yeah, he's very tall, and... Uh, Kind of scary. I don't really remember. You are the one. Do we all hear that? Do we nope. all hear <laughs> Only M right in your oh. ear. Okay, uh yeah. M is gonna fucking jump out of her <laughs> pants. Not literally. Uh, <laughs> just for clarification, because I know we need all that. the guys do one of these like oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's gonna jump and scream and uh, cling to. I guess Dylan is the closest to her. Just kind of cling to his arm and go. Did you guys hear that? What the fuck? Uh Did Jonesy fart? No, no. That something just whispered right by my ear. It said. It said that I was the one. Is it... you... you guys? No one heard that. No. Did you like um... get into something? Like, did you like? Did you, no. Like... No, I, you something? have to tell me legally, and then you have to tell me if you have any more legally. N guys, no, I'm just. Oh God, I'm sorry, Dylan. I'm. I... It's no, oh. M. Listen, it's okay. Hey, if something's happening, I believe you. Uh, what? Oh God. I'm looking at Dylan. Like, are you the stupid one? Like, what? <laughs> like, I no, I'm not. No, you guys really didn't hear that. You're not messing with me, right? What are, you, what are you talking about? I don't about? have the mental capability to mess with you like that. Y yes, I understand <laughs> that, Max, but you didn't hear anything, right? Did you just insult my intelligence? <laughs> I mean... No, I think I insulted my own. <laughs> insulted us. <laughs> hey, you know um, what? You're doing good. You're doing good. You, we'll, we'll polish up the insults later. Um, <laughs> we'll get your verbal repertoire up the task. Uh, my what? Don't yeah, fall don't worry. Asleep. Okay, and uh I don't know. She's like looking around for Jonathan. She's like trying to see if Jonathan's around. Um nope, you guys no didn't hear that. You guys okay. he just told me we, not to we fall don't asleep. Hear that, right? No, no one hears it. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. I I'm not going to my room, I'm sorry. Uh I'm gonna have to stay oh, with hey. one of you. I can't So it's sleepover. No. Yes. Yes. Sleep okay. Um, I. You, why are you so excited about why? that? Why? Like sleepovers, okay? He, <clears throat> it's I one of his favorite fun. things. <laughs> it's one of his favorites. I have a great time all the time. Okay, Max, will, you have to make sure I don't we fall will asleep, be miserable. okay? Is oh, there, uh, how I long? can do that. I don't yeah, know. Actually, just, there's a voice that just told me not to fall asleep. So you're gonna oh. do what the voice says? 
Well, I don't know what's going to happen to me if I fall asleep. I don't know if Jonathan's going to come murder me with a fucking knife. I don't know. You guys, no one else is hearing this. M, M, no, we're not hearing it. But listen, I believe you. It's okay. We will treat this like a reality, like something bad might happen. It's all right. Stay with us. We can do a sleepover. Max, you have to wear clothes when you go to bed this time. Okay. And you sound you... like mom. <laughs> yes. Are you all going to be? One of the be... few things she does <laughs> is tell you, Max, you must at least put something on the bottom half <laughs> when people are around. Um, are you all sleeping in Max's room? Are you all sleeping in the same room, or are you just doing one person with him? Uh, either I'm I'm happy to have a group sleepover in Max's room, or or I can suggest we that we do a. Okay, what well, what about what about if we all you know bring pillows and stuff into the recreational room, and um, oh, you know yeah. we can have a little party in the re- recreational room, and you know as long as yeah. Jonathan's not there. Well, you know, we can wow. also we could also just sleep um in one of the haunted rooms that no one's in. No, right now. no, I don't okay, think we want to do that. No, uh. I don't what? know. Where is Jonathan? I don't know. I don't want to find him anymore. It's not my job. I can't. I can't do that again. Okay. Um, I don't know if the rec room locks. I like the idea. There Are is no door on the rec room. It is yeah. just ah oh, shit. It's just an open door into. Listen, like, just and if you want to stay there, we can do that. I know you're having a rough day, so if you'd like, we can do that could stay in one of the rooms with uh, one of us, two of us, all three of oh, us. Oh, the storage room. We could stay there. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> the storage bad. I, Jonesy oh. told me about the storage room. No. Yeah, that was weird. I didn't like the storage room. Yeah, and by the way, Jonesy, you had that experience, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, no one was like, talk. I wasn't hearing anything. Like, well, Max just, you know. I, um. It was like an electrical thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. It was an electrical thing. We can call it that. Um, when I went down to pick up groceries for Thanksgiving, there was a little graveyard uh, I stopped at with Polaroid because I saw gravestones. And when I took a picture of one, when I first looked at it, it said Mr. Skateboard. But then when I looked at it again, it was a different name, like the original name on the graveyard. Maybe you just can't you read. You have the picture? Oh, yeah. I could could be. Uh, Dylan pulls out, like, the picture of the gravestones. Uh, what is it? Josh, like what was the name? names? It was just... Remmer. Remmer. It was like, these... Uh, Remmer. Uh, I just thought it was weird because it was just a small little graveyard kind of, like, on the... I mean, maybe... Side, switchback road down. So you're seeing stuff? You've been seeing I'm not... Uh, listen... I had that one weird experience here. But last summer, I had something else happen to me. Um, We're not 100% sure if it was uh, something in the food that caused hallucinations. But needless to say, I'm just not going to discount someone's experience is offhand. Uh, if M okay. says she's hearing voices, I don't want to say, I don't want to disbelieve her. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's all. Sure. So what you're saying is we should have a sleepover in the graveyard? No. Uh, no. Uh, not at I don't all. don't want to do that. No. I, think, you know I, I think, thought we were discussing places I to have think, sleepovers. It, I think having a sleepover is a great idea. I think having a sleeper is a great idea. You know what? I want to go check the boiler room real quick. I just want to make sure there's not like a gas leak or something. And, oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, nobody's, nobody's, nobody's smelling anything, you know, like nobody's hallucinating because of something. You just make sure, you know, um, and then, uh, you know, I mean, are you guys just like a ghost scenario? Like, what what are, what are we saying? Are, are we going to say something no. out loud here? Listen, listen. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, officially... What happened at Camp Oak and Oak, where I was at last summer, was uh, ergot poisoning. 
Okay. If you've ever heard of okay. ergot, basically no. it's just it's a bacterial fungal thing. I in thought food it was like, that, a, like a snail. Uh, no, that's escargot. Okay. Ergot is what happens Can you when you get all of the awards. Like the <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you ergot. ergot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, ergot is what happens when food specifically like rye or wheat or anything gets is not it's not a clean area so the poisoning can oh. cause hallucinations yeah that's because you did a you, good you, ice camp em, have you ever heard anything before like this like have you is this new for you oh my god it's very new i would say so Dylan, yes. you've had an experience like do you what do you think happened at camp did you hear any voices? Like, uh, let's just say I experienced a lot. Right. Um, I don't okay. necessarily. I I don't know if I want to sh a share it at this moment, especially with how M is kind of um yeah. freaking out right now. I don't need to add fuel to the fire. Yeah. I am still kind of personally dealing with it, but. That's why I'm trying not to discount her and what she's experiencing right now. Because and the I, hallway light be... starts flickering. Just for you. Um, Go on, Chris. Yep, yep. <laughs> I'm still holding on to Dylan. Okay, guys, guys, I'm so sorry, Dylan. The lights are flickering. Does okay. anyone see this? You might need a doctor, man. Like, I... It's... No one else can see that the lights are flickering lights in are this hallway right, right now. Hey, um, okay. She might need a doctor. Like, this is not, like, I I get it. I get You went yeah. through something at camp, but, like. I right. also went through something at camp. Not that anybody cares. <laughs> Nobody does care. Yeah. Nobody cares. <laughs> listen, okay. I, listen uh, you won the bathtub sailing race thing. We yeah, I it. did. Good. And I feel like you never appreciate me for it. It was really hard work. Dad gave you a motor to put on the back of that thing. And it was, a, I did a good job putting it on there. I think while this is happening, uh, M has broken free from Dylan and is now like actively looking for Jonathan to see if he's fucking with a light switch or something. Uh, like at one, like. Oh, you can't, him, you can't go wandering off. Like. Well, no, it must be Jonathan that's fucking with the lights right now. They, well, the lights got a good turn. arm. M, I M, got one good arm, fine. Jonathan. Come on out. And Jonesy, as soon as Max says that, fuck. the lights mm. turn out for everybody. And when they come <laughs> back screaming. on, the whole hallway is red. Oh. Uh. Like, and because of a light or just like okay. like like a red light is streaming into the hallway the hallway is old now there are no doors uh there are stairs at the end of the hallway though and they go up and oh. on those stairs is a figure that is backlit and another figure, which is laying on the ground, her hair in the other figure's hand. And he starts walking up the stairs, her body going up one step after the other, being dragged up the stairs. And all of you have a strange experience beyond just this incredibly strange scene. You all suddenly remember that there was somebody you worked with named Cynthia. Who none of you have thought about all day. In fact, you're pretty sure you forgot she existed. And the figure drags the other figure up the stairs. Uh, so now uh, let's do a peace of mind roll. And the way the peace of mind roll works is you roll one die for every point of peace of mind you have. You are looking for a six, any six at all in Oof. your roll. If you Damn. don't get a six, you Damn. lose one point of peace of mind. Oh, no. <laughs> Riveroni. <laughs> oh. Dylan does it. <laughs> I have so many. Yeah. 
Damn, dude. I actually you don't have character? a lot, honestly. I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, and yep. for those who are who are back in the chat, suddenly we have more people in chat than we had before. Um, <laughs> uh, but we we lost the stream Technical there for a minute. Issues. Technical issues. Uh, hopefully that will be smoothed over in the um, in the production in the YouTube uh, <laughs> edit. Yeah. Um, but okay, so we have peace of mind here, and it looks like Dylan is the only person who passed that. So. Everybody, it's like I've it. been scarred before. <laughs> yep. Everybody, uh, put in parentheses next to your peace of mind. One fewer peace of mind, or put a negative one, whatever. Uh, uh, which means that let's see, uh, Jonesy will be down to five, um, and uh, M is down to two. Yeah, it's not looking good. Okay. Woof. Uh. And then uh, uh, Max, Max, Max is spelled Max. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Max is down to three. So cool, cool, cool. Um, and uh, all right. And this is where you are. There is a, the sound of an engine or a boiler or something going in the background somewhere with clanking. And um yeah, you uh, you are now just standing in a hallway in red light together. Damn it, not again. Okay, okay, everyone sees that it's a red hallway and there's a fucking guy right back over there. Oh. Is that fucking Cynthia? Oh. What happened to Cynthia? Max that... was up. What Dylan, was that? Dylan... Full, Max fully vomits. <laughs> He's in the middle of the hallway. Okay. D Dylan reaches out and like, Touches the wall. It's, see if it's real. It's warm. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Is are, were we hearing the boiler or something going? Something clanking? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're hearing something clanking and what is what does what that noise mean to me? Like, do I recognize is that a bad noise? Is that an okay noise? Do I have to worry about the boiler? It's it almost sounds rhythmic in this in the sense of like uh it sounds like it's it's a machine doing what it's supposed to be doing okay all right uh, uh what is behind us Dil uh, dylan turns around to look and see it is, is... pure darkness Ugh. and so how far away is the stairs with the figure <sighs> it's hard to say but maybe 30 feet maybe 50 feet dylan starts walking forward <laughs> Is, is, she, like, like, is Cynthia still there, or is the figure... You see, the, the figure has gone up the stairs now, so it's the stairs are basically like switchback stairs. So the figure has gone up the stairs, and the body, whoever the body is, has like sort of been pulled, dragged up the stairs uh, behind him, and they are now now past where you can see. She's fucking still, dead. Do I still hear the dragging? Uh, you can hear the thump, thump, thump of like feet uh on the stairs going up i'll leave her she's dead she's dead max you're better yeah. than this oh god i'm <laughs> okay but everyone saw that and that that must have been cynthia right like it, we haven't seen her where that must have been cynthia right oh god oh god I, uh I'm dylan looks around on the ground where the bodies were uh, where the body was laying is there anything on the floor i uh, it's that's you're still like 50 feet away, 30 feet away from that. Oh, so there's, there's not I'll like go, a slow I'll go inspect Oh, thing. God. I'm going to walk up and see if there's any evidence yeah. to figure okay. out who that was. Like, is it a chalk outline of cocoa powder? Or... <laughs> uh, no, but there is a uh, there does seem to be a piece of paper laying here on the ground folded up. I pick it up. It is yellowed with age, uh, but uh, are you going to unfold it? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. It has a very simple drawing on it in uh, chalk, colored chalk. Um, it is the outline of a head, just a person's head. No face, though. But every single one of you knows that that face is smiling at you. 
At which point Dylan just lets go. He's like, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seems nice. Does that <laughs> does that face trigger him to go like I know that face? Do yeah, I know that face? Absolutely. In your mind though, the non face there is drawn with a child's hand. There's just circles for eyes, a uh. single line for a mouth, a dot for a nose, but none of those lines are there. There is mm. only the blank smiling face. You guys, it's a, it looks like a child's drawing. I think I, this kind of, it looks like a child drew it. What, what has this got to do with anything? I... Did you want to hear about a child? I mean, we heard about those twins in that room, but that's not, that's not oh, what yeah. we about. There were like two sets of them. Yeah, no, but can anyone see? And she just, to make sure, can anyone see that that's a child's drawing with the circles and the line for the mouth? Art is subjective. Are we? Yes, the, we I don't see that me. amount of detail, right, Josh? You, none of you see that amount of detail. Not even, not even like M, but uh, like in her mind, all of you fill mm. this in in your mind. Mm. Okay. All of you feel these features looking yeah, at you, but none um, of you see them. I don't see it, but I, I get you. Okay. I, I feel um, it. Should um, we, I don't know, should we take this with us? I don't know. How do we even get, should we follow that? You know what? Uh, Dylan picks the pe uh, piece of paper back up, folds it up, uh, looks at everyone, puts it in his like right breast pocket, and buttons it. Yes, haha, -ha, breast. Um, <laughs> good one, Max. <laughs> I can see that that hasn't died in you. Um, <laughs> we'll check for later. Uh, there's only one way out of here. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, Especially God. because when you look back at the hallway, it is now all in darkness. Uh, okay. Uh, Oh. Okay. Oh. Um Dylan leads the way. Yeah. Jonesy is right behind Dylan. Right yeah. Right behind him. All yeah. right, I'll Dylan, be Dylan thinks uh like M is holding his hand again, but he turns <laughs> back and sees it's Jonesy. He's like Yeah, what? It, it, it's fine. You just keep you just keep going. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um, my... I think as I think as we go our... up the up the stairs, I think mm. M's gonna whisper, "You guys, I I think that figure looks kind of like the one that I saw down in the in the hallway, you know, with Jonathan. I think that uh, I don't know. It's not it's not good. I just I just wanted everyone to know. Yeah, thanks yeah, for no, telling me. I'm terrified." <laughs> yeah, through context clues, I've been getting that the tall thing that you saw is also the tall thing that's... Sorry, I'm being a jerk. I need to stop. Uh, just, I am not dealing with this well. Um, we gotta have some... It's gotta be, like... This, this is some kind of, like, weird, like, food poisoning thing, right? Like, we did... Oh, Jonesy, no. No. It's not Jonesy. food poisoning. Hey, hey, Jonesy, when I said I got food like, poisoning at camp... <laughs> I don't think I got food poisoning again. This is like a bad trip, guys. Oh, we just so gotta you lied. Stay calm. We just got to stay calm, keep our hands inside the vehicle, and wait for this thing to wear off, all right? We got to just not do anything dangerous. Be real careful on these stairs. Like, yeah, you know, you had a group stairs. Jonesy, have you had a group trip before? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> what drug were you on? Well, I mean, I don't even know that we're all seeing the same thing right now. And I start to okay. like just very loudly describe what I've seen. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and Dylan's yeah. like, yep, like, I see the that. hallway's red, see it's that. dark down there. We mm -hmm. saw a tall man. Mm -hmm. But maybe yeah. it's just because M was talking to us about all this stuff. So it got in our heads, you know? So she mentioned the red hallway, huh? And well, what about, hey, hot, hot take. What about Cynthia? Ah. Yeah. One time I went on a group trip to the museum. I mean, it is. Yeah, Max. Wait, yeah. hold on. <laughs> Max, what? why the non sequitur? Or do you actually, you is there a connection? You, you were asking Jonesy if you ever went on a group trip. Oh, and fuck. I also went on a group trip to the museum once. And I just 
I didn't want to be like a group out. hallucination thing. Did y'all see the same stuff? Well, we did all see the same stuff. Um, but Wait, I, 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 I saw on that him. paper. <laughs> um, are you guys going up the stairs? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Like, like on all I looking like, back <laughs> to see if the darkness is creeping up. It Just is gonna go yeah. up on all fours. Yeah. Okay. Um, like, he's gonna go like, no, 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 like you got it. Like, like he doesn't want to fall like... down the stairs. He doesn't want to fall down the stairs. So he's being careful. So he's going up, like you know, close to the ground. Yeah. At which point, Dylan too, just then... kind of like waves M toward. <laughs> I, I, you know, guys, we're just high. We just got to be careful. We got to get to a bed. We got to sleep this thing off. Hey, I want you. Hey, you know what, Jonesy? I want you to be right. I do. I also want you to be right, but it, it's just. Great. <laughs> well, when you so on the stairs. when you do two switchbacks, basically, right? You do kind of you go up to the little landing, you switch back, you go up to another little landing, you switch back till basically you've gone up what would be the equivalent of like two floors. Uh, the stairs continue to go up, but there is a door there, and it opens. Oh balls! Uh, normally, a door here. There's the, the, these there's are no normal stairs. stairs. <laughs> Where are we? Okay, all right. <laughs> um, and a, a woman leans in the door. She's dressed in a nurse's uniform, uh, but it is not a contemporary nurse's uniform. And right. she has uh, a, a like kind of a collection of papers in her one arm, and she leans in and she says, "Oh, are you all here for the treatment? Nope. It's check-in no. time." No. Nope. Mm. I was I was actually here uh to check in a check up on a patient. Oh. I'm a doctor. Oh god. Let me see, Dylan, whether or not mm. you're a doctor. Will you come Do with you me? No. no. No, no, no. You know what? I have stuff. I have stuff to do. We you really do. like to stick together. Yeah, it's um, it's if upstairs, you don't mind. and she leans back in and closes the door behind her. Uh, we all saw that, right? <laughs> hey, yes, Jonesy, we all saw did that. Did I hallucinate nurse, or did we all hallucinate the nurse <laughs> that knew my name? I mean, that was weird. That was weird. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. That was weird, isn't, right? Is this like one of your? This isn't one of your like Max practical joke things, though, right? Oh, is it? This, this would, would be, be really elaborate. This would be, yeah. You know what? I'm about to be elaborate, Frank. This is a little bit too much. What? What does she yeah. mean? It was up there. What? What could she? What could she be talking about? I'm not going up there. I, I, I don't, don't want to go up there. I look I behind know. us. This There's the something in the darkness. Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, uh, is there? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna encourage. <laughs> Through both word and gesture, uh -huh. to the party to move on. It's uh -huh. not clear what it is, but there is a figure in the darkness that is moving. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, no, but um, yeah. Is it is my nerd? cast like one of those hard casts? Uh, uh, no, you have you have a you have like a splint uh, shit, right okay. now. Mm -hmm. What okay. are you going to do? Get on the uh, I just wanted to know for the teacher if I had no other choice. Matt, to answer it's your question, cool. as you even ask that question, the dark figure resolves into a nurse. Uh, uh, no, we got to go, guys. It's like the Ghostbusters. Uh, imagine it's a marshmallow. Can I Can I try <laughs> uh -huh. to open the door that she was just... Uh, yes. Not out yet. Yep, absolutely you can. Okay, I'm going to try to do that. Yep, it opens into... Here's what you see. It's the lobby of the hotel. It is full of people. They are gray. They are all wearing white. And they are all looking at you. I'm going to just reach in and close that. <laughs> uh, is there any other... Do, can we keep going up? or is that... Oh, you can go up. Oh, okay. God. Yeah. Yeah, hey Jonesy, uh, describe to me what you saw in there, and I'll tell you whether it. I also saw the same thing. 
I saw a bunch of gray people in white. It was, yeah, the, uh -huh. it was the hotel lobby, and I'm just Nailed not it. happy about it, and I don't know okay. what to do. I don't is, know the nurse, is the nurse coming towards I, us? It's what I get. For she hangover. is wandering around below you as if yeah. she doesn't know where she is. Yeah, we're going to keep going up. Uh, what if we, we to talk to her? Yeah, no. she flirt with her. Do you want me to, like, use my no, charm? No, no, no. She doesn't know no. where she is. No. I can use my charm. How do you you know never know where you are when the max is. I just start yelling. I just yell. Right hey, hey. <laughs> She, hey. she looks up at you and says, are you here for the convention? No. That sounds better than the doctor thing. Say yes. Yeah. She has uh, no eyes. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not looking at her, but I say, what, what convention are you talking about? And Instead of words, she answers by opening her mouth and just some sort of black ichor begins to dribble down and out and over her clothing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dylan is <laughs> grabbing is whoever's closest to yeah. <laughs> Dylan, okay, yeah. Dylan, I think, Dylan I think grabbing it's... As closest to him and just yeah. starting to just pull up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, push someone behind ow. him. Ow. She starts to come up the stairs on all yeah. fours as well. Mm. Oh, Slowly. Okay. No. All right. Upstairs, okay. Upstairs. Looks like Max is already up there, and Dylan has me and Jonesy, and we're going up the stairs now. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. No, 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 no. There are. Uh, it's again the same number of stairs up, and you are on a landing that says floor two. Uh, any doors or? Oh yeah, absolutely. There's a door on this landing as well. Yep. We check that one. Peek. Let's just peek real quick. Uh. <laughs> It is, it is black and white. Okay, um, this isn't ours. And full of people who seem to be having some kind of party. Uh, oh, let's go here. They are dressed very well. Um, the women are in sequins and diamonds, and the men are in tuxedos. Um, and there is some kind of music playing, maybe jazz, maybe um, some kind of big band era music. And there's a low murmuring uh, of conversation, uh, and no one seems to be paying any attention to you. Yeah, I think we should. I don't think uh... we should go into the black and white world as Dylan just closes the door. <laughs> Isn't the whole world black and white, or is it just so the doors that we're opening? No, because this hallway, the 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 stairwell is still red. Oh, okay. Ugh. Yeah. We're the not... red feels bad too, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm gonna... being honest. Hey, I. You know what? I want to wait for Technicolor, and Dylan closes okay. the door. Uh, so I guess we're going up the stairs again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I swear yeah. to God, Dylan, if this is the wrong call, I will absolutely. The next you. one's definitely going to be like a haunted graveyard. <laughs> uh, There's going to be no, no other no, doors. No, I'm not going into a graveyard. Shut up. <laughs> we go upstairs. I'm doing that. That's scary. No. <laughs> Listen, the only thing I've learned about these things, push through. Okay. Push through that party. Maybe they had pretzels. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want a pretzel, okay? <laughs> what? Uh, all right. Uh, up the stairs, up the stairs. Uh, all right. You reach the third floor, and it says uh, Mount Thibaut Kiba Resort, floor three. There are a couple of things about this. One, uh, the doors don't normally say this. And two, there are more steps going up. Oh, my goodness. I open the Mount Tebow Keeper Resort door. This is in genuine Technicolor. Ooh. Does it feel like it's the right 60s, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it feels like it feels like you're looking at, like, Bewitched or, like, something like that. There is a there is a low resolution quality to this hallway. No one is in the hallway, though. But it oh, is in dear. color. 
No, yeah. I don't. Mm. I can't do it with low resolution. Like my <laughs> looks are like all I have going for me. Yeah, a, we're, we all just kind of start nodding when we look at one another. <laughs> still closes, but yeah, we're not there yet. The uh, right before the door closes, though, a child's hand. No. Um. No, it doesn't. That's <laughs> the door. Dylan just was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, the child lets go, um, and... <laughs> it closes the door. Oh! Oh! oh. oh dude! Dude, that sucked! What <laughs> was the little one? <laughs> all right, we're gonna keep going. You know what? I'm an asshole, but I feel like we can all agree that was the right call, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if I'm not tripping balls, I'm going to need to take some drugs when we're done with this. <laughs> yes, oh, I agree. My... Um, <laughs> all right, so you go up another two flights of stairs, and this is where the stairs end. Mm. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, and it says, above the door, Mount Tebow Kiba Resort, floor four. <gasps> you guys. I, I open it. <laughs> just before M says anything, just yeah, just at this point he's like, but he's holding on to the knob and ready to just <laughs> take a, another kid's hand out if he's got to. He's just like easing it open. He's like, where are you at, you little bastards? Uh, there's an attic in front of you. You guys, does the does the hotel have an attic? Uh, we should have got in the party. No. It was the wrong color. <laughs> they seem so nice. I feel like I could have really like thrived. You would have. Hey, you know what? You would probably would have been there forever. I feel like I could have thrived, if I'm being honest. Oh, I could have done something with coal. I'm really glad this place doesn't have a a maze. Oh, uh, anyway. <laughs> Does, uh, uh, do we no see Jonesy. anything? No hedge Jonesy. maze, but very large topiary animal. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Jonesy, uh, Tiba Kiba got an attic, right? Uh, can I roll for that? It, no, you it don't doesn't. need to. No, it does not no have attic. an attic. No. Mm. Nah. Nah, there's no attic. This is not uh, the resort. Dylan looks behind him, sees there's no stairs. Uh, is it at least color? Oh, like, this, looks, it... this looks as normal as can be. Yeah, okay. Dylan takes like a like reaches in, gets some like loose change and like throws a penny <laughs> through the door to see if something happens. Nothing happens, but when it lands, there's no sound. Huh. Oh. The show is awake. <laughs> That's suspicious. Um damn, I don't have anything uh, else to throw on me. Well, uh I'm almost certain if our head was through the door we'd hear it. This is this is the, the vibe I'm getting. Uh, you know what? I'll go first. Dude, we don't... Steps so through the door. Dylan disappears immediately. Fucking oh, damn fuck. it! Dylan... Oh, God. Mom's gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, and then you... And then he reappears, and you watch him walk away from the door one or two steps dylan from your perspective nothing weird happened you just walked mm. into the attic mm. reach down pick up the penny look at it the right date it hasn't, yep everything's fine there it's not a canadian penny now nope, they haven't that's like, not a... <laughs> and took over it. <laughs> no um um uh, dylan, uh, you... i turn around and look can i i'm gonna say dylan can you hear us you can't hear her i turn around do i see them oh yeah you see them you can't hear us. Do you want me to translate? Dylan. I'll walk in and then walk back out. It'll be like a thing. I mean, I well, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna motion to him. <laughs> I'm gonna motion to him to see if he can come <laughs> like out of there. I don't know why, but oh no, I don't want to look behind me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude, you know I'm bad at parades. Just I'm say what you Oh, for those who are listening to the oh, yeah, audio the version audio, of this, yeah. holy shit, you missed some good miming by Chris. That was, yeah, that was the yeah. So for the audio yeah. listeners, I'm, look behind you to see if the nurse is still crawling after you. <laughs> That's some um, solid miming, though. I yeah, wanna. Yeah, went to uh, mime school for a day. I'm gonna try and tell Dylan. Dylan, the the penny, drop it and see if you can hear it. Yeah, the penny. It, Dylan it rolls his eyes, drops it on the floor, hears it. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm waiting I, for him to tell me I, that I can't hear I, it. I not. I I like knock on the ground. Do I hear that? No. Hmm. What you I, I, hear is a is a, a sort of consistent ticking. Um, it's not like a clock. It's not like a bomb. It's not, but it's just sort of like. I go through the door. Back, back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I go back through the door. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. You're back through the door again. I heard ticking. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, first of all. I didn't know. Um, mm, could have been bugs. I don't do bugs as well as I used to. Um, I don't you know. couldn't hear anything in there except for the ticking? I, I, well, I dropped a penny. I couldn't hear it. I couldn't hear you guys, obviously. I looked down behind us. Oh, yeah. There's there's a few figures now crawling up the okay. stairs. All right. Is there... um, is, there's no other way to go, right? You guys are kind of at the end of, end of the road here. God damn it. Uh, I think this is our only option. All right. Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, you just hear oh. a voice from down in the darkness saying, my hand. Oh. My hand. Dylan, I can't yeah. believe you did that. That was <laughs> fucked up. Oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's his drawing. Maybe we should just throw it and see if he wants his drawing back. Um, Dylan takes it out of his pocket, bowls it up, and just tosses it down the, the stairs. Yeah. Did no, they no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my eye. My eye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my eye. <laughs> and and you, my just hear a, you just hear one of them falling down the steps. It's like, damn, I'm good. <laughs> Oof. Okay, Ooh, was no. it... I should you... tell you about the one time I... Uh, anyway, with a machete, <laughs> but... Um, what? Epic as hell. Yeah, no, I saved, um, sort of saved a person. Anyway. Okay, uh, um, did you see any exits in there? We have no choice, but we've got to go in, so tell us everything we want to now before it we start. It was an attic, them. and there was no noise except for a ticking. I need to check you in. I, I need think we should just go. Check you I, think, all in. I think we're just going to go oh, down in there. Uh, uh. Thank you, but we're gonna go ahead and go now. Thanks for your hospitality. And I'm, Max is just gonna run. You are here for yeah. the treatment. And uh, no, 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 Dylan. we're not here for the treatment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dylan grabs Jonesy and M. Uh, I don't think you yeah. want to stay here. And no. just like no, I'm in. Dips through the door. Yeah. Okay, Max, do you go in with them. Max is oh, already. Max is oh, Max is already here. All right, first, yeah. All right, so uh, immediately you all notice a couple of things. One, there is just this consistent uh, timing of tick, 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 tick. It's the only thing you can hear. Second, as you look at each other, you all look pretty normal except for your motions. Your motions aren't fluid uh it's it's as if it's as if you're missing some frames of the the way everybody is moving um and then you do hear something you hear piano um but not like a soft nice piano but sort of like a jaunty um uh sort of like a uh a, what would you call the uh, those sort of um you know almost like a uh, a saloon piano oh, like a ragtime mm. yeah. sort of a ragtime kind of 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 music that's playing mm. in the background um 
and a figure walks out from behind a beam in the uh, attic. That beam is not wide enough to hide this figure. How close am I to this figure? About 10 feet away. Oh, okay. I was going to try to punch it immediately. Um, well, when he wow. walks out, he's wearing a top hat and <laughs> uh, a tuxedo. Okay. And he has a cane. A oh, tuxedo, man. Yeah. Um, and he well, doffs his cap, his hat, and puts it back on his head again. Um, does a little kick of his cane and twirls it around. Um, and then walks back behind the pillar again and is gone. He also has no face. Damn it, I was just about to ask Okay. That. Is there... Is this, like, attic completely empty? Is it just, like, bare? There's one piece of furniture in this room. What, what furniture is that? A rocking chair. No, there's... No, there's not! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is an empty rocking chair by a window. Well, yeah. Okay, but there's a window? Yeah, I want to go look out the window. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Dylan looks at the beam and is kind of like yeah, doing like one of these. Like, mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, puts his like hand behind it and like yeah. pulls it back. Hmm. Like, <laughs> oh, God. No. No, um, no, 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 no. Max is no. going to try to do the exact same dance that that man just did. <laughs> okay. See if it unlocks anything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you don't get like a boo 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 Magic boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've unlocked teleporting. What's... <laughs> like, I want to check out the window, but I also want to see, like, the door behind us. Is that... Has that changed at all? Like, is that still going to the same spot? Or is that... Closed? Yeah, that... that well, uh... It's sort of... It swings closed on its own, but it's still there. Uh... Oh man! Can I hear anything? Oh well, no, I can't hear anything. Never mind. Just piano and. Can we even speak to each other? Nope. No. When you speak, something very strange happens. Stranger than normal. What do you try to say? I think I think M said, "Look, a window." <laughs> When you do that, you find yourself gesticulating more than normal. And then the whole room goes black for a second. And in front of all of your eyes, the words, look a window, appears. Oh my fucking God. In the darkness. And then disappears again and you're all back to normal. Not normal, normal, but normal for the attic. Okay. Uh Okay. Ooh. Experiment here. Uh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> Dylan's like, look, there's a door to our reality and where everything is normal. Um, and again, everything goes black. And those words appear in the darkness in front of you um, as if printed on dark paper in, mm. in sort of a very fancy writing. And, and then, the, oh yeah, it's like, wait, what? <laughs> it's because Dylan didn't get his magic door. Oh, <laughs> so while Dylan said that, um, Max is gonna like in the darkness. Mm -hmm. He's gonna try to like lay on the ground. Okay. So that when like we come back, he's in a different position. Sure, that works. That works. Yep. Okay. Mm. Good um, to know. Jonesy, when you look out the window, uh, at first it's dark, but then you start to see lights come on. Um, and you see lights come on in, a wi in a one window first, and then another window and another window. And what you see is a hotel, uh, maybe about a quarter of a mile away on... Uh, a hill, it looks as if there's a little valley between you and this other, uh, this other hotel, but there's like a little dip in the ground and then, and then the hotel lights up and then another one, a little up and to the left of that one lights start to come on and then another one and 
in about the space of a minute, you see what must be 40 or 50 hotels, all exactly the same as Mount Tibokiba, scattered on hills and mountains, stretching up and away. I think I turn around to everybody else and uh, lost for words. I think I, think I try to I turn back, try to open the window. It opens. I want to like poke my head out the window. The air is cold, but there is something very strange there and you can't put your finger on it exactly right away. Right. And then you realize that you can hear the wind. Oh. I, 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 I what is it like out there? gesticulating. Yeah. Okay. What is it like out there? Can I like, it's like, you, can I get out onto the roof? Yeah. Uh, I want to climb out onto the roof. You are on the roof of Mount Tibokiba. It is quite cold, but uh, everything out here seems normal. Okay. I I want to shout in. I can I can hear the wind. Yeah. You can guys can't it? hear that, but you can see him saying things. Oh yeah, Dylan okay. like shouting over the wind. D too. Like, Dylan I'm... does see that Jonesy is, or you know, articulating for us to come out. So he's like, "All right, well." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're gonna... So it as soon as e each of you sticks your head out there, you can hear the wind and you can hear Jonesy and. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna oh. follow him out onto the oh, roof. Jonesy. I thought I'd never hear your beautiful voice again. <laughs> oh, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the last person to leave the the window? Oh shit! Well, I said I already came out, so <laughs> yeah. I was at least gonna wait for M, and then I think <laughs> I was trying to push Dylan behind me. <laughs> yeah, Dylan had already went out. Oh. All right, so Max is the last person to leave. I specifically is like, oh, I saw Jonesy making moves. Yeah, I, yes. I went out. Okay. So yeah. Dylan's on you the outside on helping the M. Out. <laughs> it was just awesome. Face down, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It took a minute for Dylan or for Max to realize what was going on. Uh, on the floor. <laughs> Uh, Max, the last thing that you see as the window closes behind you is the tall man in the top hat standing next to the rocking chair. And in the rocking chair is a girl who you think you remember. And she's rocking slowly back and forth. And the name for the last time enters your mind. Cynthia. And when the window closes, none of you remember her. And the window looks into darkness, and you are all sitting on the roof of Mount Tibokiba, unsure of how to get down. Dylan pulls out a flask out of his pocket, <laughs> opens it up, takes a swig. He's like, not again. Oh, good God, not again. And that is where I we will end. went to the end. mountains this time. <laughs> oh, man. No. Wow. Oh, man. So. It's not good, everyone. Uh, not good. Uh, <laughs> this is where we will end tonight. Um, we should be back again next week to continue our adventure. Uh, hey, go check out worst-days.com worstdays.com up there in the corner uh ashton laurel where can people find you on the internet you can find me on twitter at popskull underscore mike um where i tweet about things or you can follow at fkf tweets uh which is my king arthur podcast um or you can follow at cars conspiracy which is my pixar's cars show written in the cars and also for some reason, my soundboard isn't working, but I tried to play the big time rush. Uh, 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 oh, and it wouldn't work. I'm really disappointed. I just want everyone to know it was very funny in my mind. Yeah. So <laughs> perfect. Ah, uh, Chris Umsky, where can people find you on the internet? 
and all over the All Ports Open Network here at the Worst Days for Twitch and other Twitch things, Grognard and Friends, every Sunday. Got it. It's at 6 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time, where I play a cleric of revelries. We are having a heist. Nice. Love a heist. Uh, always a good heist. Yep. <laughs> uh, Matt Byrne, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, you can find me on um, on Instagram at Grashiger, uh, mm-hmm. and um, I've on at uh, Howls from the Dark Ages doing audiobook recordings, and I've got a few more um, few more recordings coming up on their uh, their upcoming anthology. I'll be reading um, Hope is a Sad Song and A War in Hell, uh, and that's on their uh, their new anthology coming up. That's Howls. They're like the biggest horror writing anthology club on the internet nice that's awesome um ashton are you soundboarding because you're like you're weird weirdly popping like white noise at us. sorry it was i was testing it i was trying oh. to fix it i was i muted myself so i could try to fix it and then then she turned on her industrial fan <laughs> I, I did. Yeah. Correct. uh bliss where can people find you on the internet People can find me here on Mondays and also in podcast form eventually. Uh, and also on Instagram and Twitter at Howdy Bliss and on Spotify at Head Home. <laughs> <laughs> it's, good. it's a good solid okay. ending there. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, uh, go check us out. Worst-days.com. You can find our Reddit, our Patreon, our, uh, our Twitter... All of our previous uh, streams that are whole um, and uh, will be, I have to update the Instagram. I spent all day reworking the Instagram to uh, reflect that we're focusing on the worst days now, um, but I still need to update the username. So I won't send people there this week. Uh, but yes, uh, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, it is now twitch.tv slash worst days RPG. Uh, But again, you can find all that stuff at worst-days.com. So uh, thank you all for watching. Thanks for hanging out uh, for Mr. Chris Sumsky, for Blissy Vito, for Ashton Laurel, and for Matt Byrne. I'll be your host, Joshua Wise. Thanks for hanging out. This has been The Worst Days. We hope you've had the best time. Good night, everybody.